Hi everyone, this is Lynn Langett and I'm going to give a short video here talking about the things that I'm going to be studying in the upcoming year. Uh, people always ask me, hey, what are you studying, Lynn, so you can learn how to be a better data scientist or a uh, better big data person. So uh, I thought I'd start with this article. Uh, we all want to be the sexiest geek alive. So uh, here it is authoritatively, a blog on data science. So all joking aside, how do we get there? Um, the technologies that I'm working with are core technologies, relational technologies, and other data technologies. And in this short screencast, I'm just going to actually show you some web resources and get you started. And you can study along with me all year as I'm blogging and posting and so on and so forth. So one of the first areas I'm going to be studying more is Cloudera. Uh, last year, I took the Cloudera developer classes for the Hadoop, their Hadoop implementation and uh, actually certified. And they released a new... Uh, implementation with some great features. It's called CDH4. Um, the biggest feature is called Impala, which is a faster uh, type of a query. It's certainly not interactive. It's still a batch query. But I'm actually going to be taking the updated developer course in San Diego the end of January and trying to upgrade my certification so you can follow my uh, progress there. And uh, I may actually be working with Cloudera as an instructor. Uh, working on that, got some more studying to do, but be learning quite a bit about Cloudera's Hadoop implementation, and I, I welcome you to join me with that. Another type of uh, big data uh, implementation I've been doing quite a lot of work with is uh, MongoDB. So Tengen is uh, to MongoDB as Cloudera is to their implementation of Hadoop. That is, they have a lot of committers on the, on the, on the company, and they provide services and training. So there's a number of opportunities for learning around MongoDB. One of them coming up in my uh, neighborhood is uh, MongoDB Los Angeles, um, which is going to be uh, coming up in February. Uh, there's a two-day conference in LA that I'll be attending and uh, possibly speaking at. I, I submitted a, a session proposal, so we'll see if TenGen accepts it. It's on MongoDB for the not .NET developer. So I encourage you, if you're learning Mongo, to uh, check this out and to check out uh, TenGen's site. Another place I'll be studying this year is Coursera. Coursera, of course, is the free online university courses, and I'm really excited to find this uh, highly recommended course from the University of Washington, UW, on Introduction to Data Science. So I've signed up for that, and I'll be uh, taking that so I can increase my perspective and, and get more um, information about uh, data science coming from a university-level course. So uh, the URL is shown there. Um, in addition to uh, Tengen having uh, conferences, like Coursera, Tengen has started last year free online education, and I started the developer course, um, which I thought was fantastic, but I, I got some work obligations and I wasn't able to finish it. So it, like Coursera, it has a start and an end time. It has homework due, all that good stuff. So I'm going to be signing up and uh, retaking the MongoDB um, probably for Java developers, which looks like it's a new course. They had MongoDB for developers before, and these are free courses. Um, and I really enjoyed the time that I had uh, with it. So I'll be doing that as well. Another thing I'll be doing is I'll actually be presenting. So in April, 8th through 10th, I'll be in Boston uh, presenting at the Big Data Tech Conference um, uh, on a bunch of different technologies. Here, I'll scroll down so you can actually find me. And you can see that I'll be presenting um, on a number of things. I'll be presenting on Google BigQuery and Predictive API. I'll be presenting sort of my best of hands-on NoSQL for the uh, DBA. Um, I'll be presenting on Hadoop, but uh, from the Microsoft perspective, um, I will be deep diving into MapReduce, probably based mostly on what I've uh, worked with on the Cloudera implementation. And then I'll be doing hands-on MongoDB. Some of these are one hour and some of these are uh, half day. So if you're on the East Coast and you want some uh, deep dives, from me or some of the other people presenting, do take a look at this big data tech conference because I'll be I'll be there for that. I'll also actually incidentally be in Boston before that for Agile Games, where I'll be presenting with uh, Llewellyn Falco on some Agile um, techniques. Uh, of course, I'm not a completely abandoning my core technology, SQL Server, um, in um, implementation more than a learning mode. I have several customers that I work with uh, that are I'm helping to implement SQL Server 2012 and we're implementing a lot of the BI and big data and some of the EIM features. So um, as confidentiality agreements permit, I'll be blogging about things that I've learned. A real world BISM, for example, is a topic that I've talked about and I'll be using DQS and more. So I'm not abandoning the world of SQL Server. That's still there. I'm still uh, doing quite a bit of work there. 
In addition to SQL Server on the Microsoft platform, I'll continue to be a beta tester for HD Insight, which is um, the Microsoft's implementation of Hadoop on Azure. I've done quite a bit of work testing and speaking about that. Um, I've been on the beta for well over a year now, wondering when they're going to come out of beta, actually. So I'll be, uh, I'll be a good source of information if you're, if you're looking for that. In addition to some of these core technologies, um, I do recommend if you're studying and learning that you actually um, uh, use some of the social networks to stay on top of the news releases. You know, big data is a moving target and there's a lot of, a lot of product updates and things that come. And what I do is I just do a search on the Twitter tag, big data. And you can see just in the, I don't know, 10 minutes since I started recording this, um, there were 18 new tweets on, on this. So this is just a tip that I have to stay on top of the releases. Another way to stay on top of what's going on in big data and to become involved in your community is um, something that I put on my blog here, which is on my page for user groups. Um, one of the things I noticed last year, you can see here I have Orange County, Los Angeles, Riverside, and San Diego, is in LA and Orange County, there are quite a few new uh, user groups just around big data. For example, in the OC, we have the AWS user group, we have the Orange County Hadoop user group, MongoDB, Orange County, which is really quite refreshing because as much as I like LA, I don't always enjoy driving all the way up there. Of course, in LA, we have even more. We have MongoDB LA, AWS, the R data science language, um, and some others as well. So I'll be continuing to update this as I see this page, as I see new user groups pop, popping up. I noticed that I think there's a Hive user group um, popping up in LA and uh, as I attend and speak at them. In addition to some of the other big data technologies, last year an interesting thing that I did was I, um, di I dived into the Facebook Open Graph. Um, and I, I, I learned it, I did a little presentation on it, and I started implementing it on, on our nonprofit site, Teaching Kids Programming. So I'm going to continue to monitor what Facebook is doing with Open Graph, um, probably more in conjunction with my nonprofit. But if you're you know looking to learn more about that technology, um, take a look at uh, teaching kids programming, and as I implement it, I will probably be blogging about it as well. Um, I would be incomplete if I didn't include some, a big project that I'm going to do, and this is around uh, Google. So Google has a, a set of cloud technologies. Uh, some of you may know that I got an award for my community education work this last year, and I'll be actually broadening that. So Google has user groups. It looks like the only active one for developers in Southern California is in San Diego. I'll be interested to see if that changes uh, over this next year, if the LA and the Orange County user groups become active. Um, in, in lieu of that, though, I'll be spending a lot of my time online at developers.google.com. Um, in addition to using some of their technologies, again, for my nonprofit and for some actual customers, I um, will be creating a series of courseware for Pluralsight, and let me just add Pluralsight here, on, uh, on the Google Cloud. And I'm actually going to start that today. So uh, if I say it publicly, then I have to get it out there, right? So I'm going to be creating a series of courses for Pluralsight on uh, working with Google App Engine, Google Compute Engine, which is uh, their version of um, virtual machines in the cloud, and some of their popular uh, APIs like BigQuery, uh, which is query as a service, and prediction, and so on and so forth. So in any case, I just want to do a, a short little screencast so you can follow along with me and let's all be the sexiest geeks alive. Let's learn to be better data scientists in the upcoming year. I would welcome any comments that you have um, when I post this video on my blog or on YouTube of places that you found very helpful in your learning. Uh, because I think that if we share, we can all become uh, increase our expertise around data science and uh, use data to make a better world. So this is Lynn Langett. Uh, for more uh, about all things data, go to uh, www.lynnlangett.com. Follow me on Twitter at Lynn Langett, and my YouTube channel is SoCalDebGal. Thank you very much.